What's up, Bruce? Uh, today we are cracking this uh, hobby box of uh, 2020 Tops uh, MLS Soccer. And uh, the chase course here are, of course, uh, 101 uh, Crest Patches, although the player list is not exactly uh, mind-blowing. Uh, some people also get excited about uh, nameplates, uh, but uh, unfortunately Tops tends to screw up name plates in a pretty fundamental way so instead of making a separate card for each letter they make like one or one card with two and a half letters uh, but uh, this is the, the least of our concerns because uh, what I suspect uh, is uh, that uh, we're not gonna get uh, any rare cards out of this box and uh, this three autograph or relic cards per box is also super misleading because uh, uh, like autograph are coming uh, first so you might uh, actually think that uh, you are likely to get three autos no in fact how it works you'll get uh, two one color jerseys and then the third card, uh, card can either be an autograph or a jersey I mean, in most cases it's gonna be a jersey as well but uh, let's get inside The base card design is uh, actually pretty disappointing this year because uh, uh, this uh, very wide wide, uh, wide frame makes uh, the card feel uh, really cheap like score uh, in football or hoops and basketball. And also uh, this uh, blurry background, it's kind of uh, looks uh, pretty annoying uh, to me. I actually would prefer either no background like in a 2019 MLS release or like then just a proper photo background because blurry is really not, not here, not there. But uh, the quality of uh, the photo is actually really uh, really good here. I love this uh, photo. You can see his, uh, this veins of uh, uh, Brad Gazan, Gazan on this uh, uh, photo. Usually this... Uh, uh, uh tops flagship does have very good photos and like but other sets like a uh, stadium club for instance uh, has had uh, great photos uh, in the past but uh, uh this is a really a really a promising photo we'll see like uh, what kind of other photos will they be and then them uh, some baseline text at the back it's actually pretty cool uh, that uh, there is text at the back of uh, these cards because sometimes uh, Tops gets really lazy with these MLS releases and doesn't put any text. Uh, uh, Lin Guyen probably best known uh, for uh, uh, his uh, his performance at uh, New England uh, Revolution. Uh, Fernando Adi and uh, all-star Alejandro Pozuelo. Uh, actually, a good player uh, might be uh, the MVP this uh, this year. I wonder if it's numbered. Uh, not numbered. Yeah, pretty. A uh, cool-looking card. Insert 22 under 22. Yeah, the, the problem with uh, this uh, Topps flagship set that they don't use RC logo, so we don't really know, know what is like... Uh, a rocky card and what is not a uh, Thomas Chacon. Yeah, here there is no blurry background, but uh, the whole photo actually looks really photoshopped to me. Like it's completely unrealistic. It's uh, you know this card in the seventies where you could see that the head is photoshopped. I get the same feeling from this card. FC Dallas uh, team card. Uh, I wonder if it's. No, it's not a parallel, the black background. Like, confuses me a little bit because uh, usually blacks are 101. Andrea Blake, Jamaican, Jamaican international. And uh, a Burr, uh, the designated player of FC NYC. Yeah, yeah he's uh, pretty dreadful, I should say. And this should be like orange to 25, I, I think, like of uh, Paxton Pomical. Uh, yeah, uh, 4 of 25. Oh, yeah, here is actually like a Chara Peach Prodigies. Uh, uh, and uh, here there is an RC logo. 
Actually, I'm not familiar with the chair at all. What are his stats? Uh, uh, yeah, like so placed uh, NCAA. Uh, not a very good sign if, uh, that he played NCAA. Usually, a uh, good player skip it. And uh, Pat Patrick Sigrist, also like a rookie of. Uh, yeah, defenseman. So not not a lot of promise. Mm. So I got uh, this box for uh, 89.95 uh, plus tax for tax from LCS, uh, but uh, I think that's uh, MSRP. But uh, a lot of these online retailers like uh, uh, Dave and Adams and uh, Steel City are selling it for these boxes for one uh, for for one one ten one twenty, which is like outrageous in my opinion. Oh, uh, MLS debut of Edison Flores, also number two, R25 uh, orange. Uh, uh, not familiar with Edison Flores, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I don't know who is paying. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, the a newcomer to the league, uh, Nashville SC. Uh, really. Yeah, really cool to pull uh, the card. I wonder if they will also have individual players cards because uh, last year um, uh, actually FC Cincinnati didn't have uh, individual player cards uh, uh, because the uh, tops didn't ma uh, manage to make any photos of them but uh, yeah, last year the set was actually released before the uh, before the season, and they actually screwed up uh, Cincinnati, um, FC Cincinnati. They put FC Louisville a uh, photo in it. So, yeah, I'm not sure uh, who is uh, buying. Uh, yeah, uh, Walker Zimmerman. Uh, it's really cool that they put uh, this uh, national cards into into this set of uh, their, their first season, so they will have like proper cards. Uh, Think uh, that the photo of the crashing like Atlanta. Yeah, I'm not sure who is uh, gonna pay uh, 100, uh, 120 uh, dollars uh, for a box of these cards because honestly, uh, I would be uh, really lucky to get uh, uh, thirty dollars back from. Uh, from this box, so apparently Peach Prodigies are all all all, all this P Pro Peach Prodigies are rookies, but uh, uh, usually I have uh, preferred uh, to open uh, a retail boxes of uh, uh, retail blaster boxes of uh, this MLS flagship because the value is really not are uh, not there by. Uh, any measure. I wonder if this is some kind of a, like a retro parallel or what it is. Yeah, it's a retro parallel apparently. No, not a, not a parallel, just regular a retro set. And yeah, I really like uh, this uh, team uh, team photos uh, uh, because uh, before uh, in previous season, uh, uh, Tops had them like just team like celebrating together. So, but uh, now you can clearly see the whole roster. Like this, like this guy seems to be really really annoyed so um, that's a plus this year and uh, FC NYC like uh, this year so uh, this is uh, yeah, our captain uh, ring and uh, uh, the probably the worst designated player in the league ever uh, the team is uh, really not that bad uh, at all if they would have like better designated a player they would be like competing it's uh, yeah, th this is an example of not a good uh, team photo because, uh, yeah, that's how like the team photo should be and that's how it uh, shouldn't be like just four random players. And also this year Chicago changed like the logo to this, uh, I, I wonder what it is, it's like a uh, like a, a penis in two testicles and then uh, the mirror image of it or what it is, like uh, a really strange, uh, strange photo. And uh, Castellanos uh, should be to 99 blue. Yeah, blue uh, to 99. 
uh, Adam Books, uh, Luis Diaz, uh, 22 under 22. Uh, Kendall Watson, IFC Cincinnati. I actually uh, think uh, this is uh, the first uh, proper product uh, where there are actually FC Cincinnati cards because there was a uh, one team card in 2019 uh, Topps flagship uh, but that uh, was featuring uh, uh, was uh, featuring FC Louisville and uh, then uh, there was uh, I think out of uh, uh, Yuya Cuba in Bowman this year uh, but uh, Bowman wasn't really like a uh, proper release, it's like uh, was printed uh, printed on demand. Uh, Diego Rossi. I think Diego Rossi scored the first ever goal of uh, LAFC and the MLS. I think it was against against Portland. Colorado Rapids. Uh, I somehow had an expression that uh, Tim Howard is, is still their goalie, but uh, apparently not. And uh, Brandon Aronson, uh, I wonder if that's uh, his uh, rocky card or not, because I think he is on his way to uh, Salzburg. Uh, maybe he was already in uh, 2019 MLS, although that's not likely because... Uh, Uh, because uh, 2019 MLS was uh, printed uh, before the season. Uh, K. Kamara. Uh, this like, really looks badly photoshopped. <laughs> really badly photoshopped. Harrison. Uh, awful. No, awful. Not awful. Uh, another retro looking card. Yeah, I really don't understand uh, what is... Uh, uh, what are people who are trying to uh, to hit uh, uh, who are paying a one hundred twenty dollars for for this box uh, are trying to hit interesting uh, duo X uh, Valerie and uh, Chara for Timbers number two ninety nine I think. Oh no, just blue color, not number two anything. Usually blues are number two. Uh, 299, there should be a number somewhere, I just don't see it. Yeah, weird. Yeah, Atlanta United, really strong roster, but somehow flopped uh, the season. Mm. Yeah, like, uh, this uniforms really look stupid without any sponsors, I should say. Like, uh, Yeah, like, uh, what MLS is doing right now is... Uh, uh, just uh, uh, trying uh, to generate uh, revenue through this uh, expansion uh, fees, uh, but uh, I don't think it's uh, healthy by uh, by any measure because uh, uh, this uh, new teams, like uh, for example Inter Miami, is literally struggling. Like you, you cannot find a, even a sponsor or anything like like that. Mm, Sporting Kansas City. Gustavo Bo. Chicharito also Galaxy had a terrible season this year, although like uh, the roster is uh, is uh, pretty strong, and uh, that's uh, uh, Efrain Alvarez uh, like Galaxy. M uh, red must be to ten. Yes, yeah, seven out. Uh, uh, number seven, uh, seven to ten, so pretty. Uh, a good, uh, a good hero, uh, hit, uh, not, uh, not the best, uh, their best player, of course, I would prefer Chicharito, uh, but a uh, good team, some, uh, has some collecting, uh, collector base, so, and uh, uh, do us, uh, again, wonder if it's, uh, no, it's, uh, it's uh, a mis kind of misleading, because uh, Christian Espinoza, uh, because you usually think that the blue is uh, number two, uh, 99. And uh, Ola Kamara. Uh, I actually had an impression that it uh, should be to 99, uh, that he moved to, yeah, to 99, uh, that uh, he moved to, he was playing in Columbus Screw, but 
also to 99. But somehow he's with uh, DC United. And now uh, Graham Zussi, long term US international. Yeah, overall, uh, as a league, uh, the MLS is a pretty painful league to watch uh, because uh, uh, for some reason. Uh, uh, most teams are trying to play uh, this technical uh, soccer short passes, but uh, they don't literally have uh, literally don't have a skill f to play in uh, uh, this type of soccer. And I think, uh, uh, in terms of attracting uh, the new viewers, it would be and spectate, uh, spectators to the st stadium. It would be much better if uh, those uh, teams would uh, really play uh, more. Uh, more straightforward, like British style soccer, that uh, you go, uh, you go uh, like you use your wingers and then you cross the balls and uh, you just finish. This type of soccer can be entertaining, Kevin, uh, at the, if you don't have like much skill. That's why like uh, the British soccer is uh, entertaining, Kevin, at the uh, at the lower level, like ch not even championship, like League One and League Two. Uh, you can you can still like enjoy that type of soccer. Yeah, my first uh, mm, relief card, uh, as I expected, very very uh, low numbered uh, to mm, three nineteen. Yeah, almost one on one. Like if I collect three hundred eighteen uh, other cards like that, I will get a, a proper one on one. So. And also, like, the relic contained in this card is not from any specific match event. Or so what it is, like, uh, uh, like uh, either just, like, uh, you went, like, uh, to Walmart, uh, bought, like, some uh, uh, discount underwear and uh, put it uh, on this card. What it is, like, tops, like, WTF. Yeah, really... Are really disappointing, and what's especially disappointing? The piece itself is not bad. There's actually like some uh, a color variation, but uh, this year uh, the uh, the hole is really like small. Like usually in this MLS card, uh, the hole used to be like uh, much. Uh, the uh, this uh, uh, a jersey card used to be like much bigger uh, than that, and now like I cannot like even stick like my mail device inside even though. Uh, I have a pretty uh, my uh, I have a pretty small device to be to be honest. Uh, Chris Wondolowski. Yeah, that's also a, a pretty great celebratory photo. I wonder what's going with his legs. Is he is like uh, wearing like some stockings or what? Like Caden uh, uh, Perks. Uh, interesting, like FC NYC uh, jersey. I think it's uh, it might be a third jersey. Uh, Jonathan Santos, uh, Christian Roden, and uh, yeah, for, again, like uh, what what this point again, like uh, using like these black stockings. I don't, I don't know what like Tops is trying to uh, to do here. I'm not really a fan of uh, this lower part of the card being in black color, color, uh, color. so uh, that's uh, yellow, should be to 65 or so, like, uh, no, to 50. And it's interesting, so, uh, and there is uh, another card, uh, number 250, uh, coming, uh, coming out. It's actually 50 of 50 and 90 of 50. Uh, uh, New England uh, Revolution and... Uh, Actually, a lot of numbered uh, cards uh, per box. Uh, pro pro maybe they printed less of it uh, than uh, than usual, uh, because otherwise I don't see what could be the what could be the explanation. <laughs> yeah, like uh, this guy uh, looks like me when I first saw a naked naked woman. Uh, Greg Gertson. Yeah, it's uh, good to see that uh, FC Cincinnati is properly uh, represented uh, represented here. Hmm. 
Yeah, and uh, unfortunately this year there is no retail, because otherwise I would buy like a retail and I wouldn't throw, uh, throw uh, $120 out of, uh, no, not $120, eighty nine ninety five plus tax, so uh, it was almost like $100, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't throw almost $100 uh, on uh, uh, to get this uh, jersey number to three. 319 no but uh, that's uh, I realized very well um, what I'm uh, going into I wonder if that's blue no that's not blue it's uh, it's uh, like that if uh, if you are an MLS fan I, I can't call my uh, myself an M uh, really an MLS fan but I go to Ah, that's really cool, my uh, my team FC NYC. I usually go to a couple of uh, their games uh, every season. Actually, uh, also, uh, also uh, uh, this year I went uh, to one game. It actually was just before the lockdown. Uh, that was CONCACAF Champions League against uh, uh, Tigres. Uh, Tigris and uh, they lost uh, one nothing at, uh, and um, the goal was scored like in ninety first minute or so. But a cool card for me to uh, pull personally. But honestly, like uh, uh, the the value must be like really terrible. The only like a card which might like cost something like maybe twenty bucks is uh, like uh, this uh, LA Galaxy uh, numbered uh, to. Uh, LA uh, Galaxy card uh, numbered uh, uh, to 10 and uh, Gustavo Bo match used memorabilia. But which match, like, uh, not from a specific match, not uh, also to 319. Yeah, actually, yeah, like if they are numbered to 319, it might not actually be so uh, as low printed as I expected, like... Uh, Yeah, uh, overall pretty disappointing, but it's a pretty long break. There's a lot of cards, so if you like MLS, and some photographies are good, like, uh, so it's, uh, if you're an uh, MLS fan, uh, then uh, uh, for sure I would recommend you to get a box. Maybe uh, if you uh, have an LCS, like probably most LCS are selling them at MSRP of around $90, but... Uh, but uh, I would I wouldn't pay like a one twenty for uh, for this card uh, for for this box like uh, at uh, Altidor Pozuela. Oh, and uh, that's uh, the first uh, proper FC Cincinnati card. So yeah, it, it was uh, such a joke like uh, when like uh, last year uh, Tops put like FC Louisville into this. Felipe good year into FC Cincinnati card. Oh, uh, Nani. Interesting card, uh, actually. Like, what is. Uh, I wonder where this uh, photo is from. Uh, very unusual. And. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the, uh, this set is uh, like actually really reminds me. Uh, this uh, series one in a uh, hockey and series two in a uh, hockey where the, the, the photography is very interesting and also this where they walk away like is uh, really interesting. Christian uh, Diego Rossi, mm. uh, Carlos Vela. Uh, LAFC had a better season than Galaxy, but also pretty. Uh, disappointing and uh, uh, so uh, the last card, uh, uh, the last relic is uh, this uh, Alejandro uh, Bedoya uh, relic card. It's actually pretty thick for some reason. Uh, is it like orange parallel to 25 or what? Yeah, so it's uh, orange parallel to uh, 25, uh, not. Uh, uh, not the craziest uh, player to get, but uh, 
uh, still better than this Kurtz number two, three, uh, 319. And uh, actually, I don't understand why this card is so like a thick compared to the regular, a regular jersey card. It's uh, uh, the piece uh, definitely is not like anything like thick or. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you, you see there is some kind of pieces of glue or something on uh, on uh, this uh, jersey. I wonder if it's what, like, uh, may, 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 maybe somebody jerked it off uh, to uh, to that piece. That, uh, at least that's how, like, uh, uh, my undies look after I uh, jerk it off, so... And uh, uh, Lucas uh, Cavallini. Overall, uh, this was of course a rough break, but uh, I would say a pretty average for an MLS, an MLS uh, hobby box break. So uh, these boxes uh, really should be around uh, uh, maybe forty-five, fifty dollars. Uh, mm. uh, so uh, uh, the best jersey, this uh, Bedoya, uh, number to twenty-five, and. Uh, uh, then in terms of uh, numbered card, uh, so uh, this uh, Castellanos to uh, 99, Camara to 99, Cavallini to 99. Probably my personal best uh, favorite card from this break is this FCNYC uh, card numbered uh, to uh, 99. Then uh, uh, this uh, New England Revolution uh, numbered uh, to 50. Uh, Castellanos uh, also numbered uh, uh, to 50, then uh, Pomical uh, numbered to uh, 25, and uh, Edison Flores uh, um, also uh, numbered uh, to 25. I actually think he played uh, for uh, at the World Cup uh, uh, in 2018, although I'm not. Uh, sure, and the lowest numbered card is uh, this Efrain Alvarez, uh, numbered uh, to 10. And uh, then uh, I'm actually not sure what is this, like Brandon Aronson cards are going uh, for. Unfortunately, he transferred not to a Red Bull uh, Leipzig, but uh, to a Red, a Red Bull Salzburg. So, uh, but still better than like. Uh, 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 Red Bull New York so uh, this card might be a worth uh, something at uh, uh, some point uh, so overall uh, if you like an MLS maybe like uh, get a box of it at Black Friday or something like that uh, but uh, at uh, $90 I would uh, I would recommend to, to avoid this product